the mosquito, the carrier of one of the most deadly diseases in the world, malaria. It's why there's so much excitement about a large-scale pilot of the world's first vaccine for the disease. Children in Malawi will now be immunized in a trial that could save hundreds of thousands of lives. There's been a lot of progress made in malaria in the past 15 years, with a steady decline in malaria cases and deaths. But we've come to a point where we're seeing a plateau, where the progress made has, is beginning to stall, or has stalled. And so we know that this is the time when we desperately need a new tool. The pilot will be launched in Malawi, but will expand. Ghana and Kenya start vaccinations in the next few weeks. It's hoped a total of 360,000 children will be immunised each year. They'll need three separate doses as a baby and a fourth 18 months later, but it'll only give them a 40% chance of avoiding the disease. Within the red blood cells, like in this case, you can see that tiny dot is a malaria parasite. Mm. One of the UK's leading malaria researchers, Dr. Yao Bediako, warns that the vaccine only offers real protection for up to four years. The real challenge the vaccine has, or the field has, is in achieving long-term protection, um, or at least protection for long enough that we can actually significantly lower transmission rates. And I think that's why, I'm, and that's why I'm cautious. If you can maintain 40% for many years, then you're onto something. This vaccine, of course, isn't the only one, and there are around 30 being developed at the moment across the world. Here at the Francis Crick Institute, they're hoping to find out how natural immunity to malaria develops. Once they discover that, they hope that will form a new, more effective vaccine for the disease. That, though, is some way off, and while this new vaccine is by no means perfect, children of Malawi could soon see its remarkable benefits. Emily Morgan, News at 10.